The ideas of Tesla for wireless power have only been um, briefly investigated by various scientists. What if the future we were promised was stolen from us? Throughout history, groundbreaking innovations, engines running on water. Uh, water is now fed into the resonant cavity through this water tank. Machines capable of curing cancer and clean energy sources have all been buried, not because they didn't work, but because they threatened powerful interests. These lost technologies represent a hidden war between progress and power, where ideas too disruptive to the status quo were suppressed, stolen, or erased. The creators behind these inventions were silenced, and the futures they envisioned were never realized. What if these forgotten innovations had been allowed to thrive? We'll never know, but the possibilities are endless. The water engine. One of the most intriguing ideas of the 20th century was the water engine, a revolutionary concept that could have changed the way we use energy forever. Imagine a machine that runs entirely on water, a source that's abundant, clean, and sustainable. In David Mamet's play, The Water Engine, the story of a young inventor is told, a man who creates an engine that operates by using a water-powered resonance cavity. The technology exposed the potential to harness water in a completely new way, generating energy through a high-intensity pulse voltage field that could break water molecules down with minimal energy input. The potential of such a discovery was immense. If perfected, this engine could have transformed energy consumption, replacing oil, coal, and nuclear power with a clean and renewable source. Cars, factories, and homes could have run on water, eliminating dependency on fossil fuels. But such a drastic shift in energy production would have threatened the established powers, governments, and corporations that profited from the status quo. As a result, the invention didn't just vanish because it didn't work. It disappeared because it worked too well. Before it could be fully realized, the inventor was silenced, and the dream of free energy was buried. These ideas are dangerous to the powers that maintain control over resources, and the story of the water engine is a stark reminder of how innovation is often suppressed when it challenges the current system. Tom Ogle and the car that ran on vapor. In 1977, Tom Ogle, a young mechanic from El Paso, Texas, unveiled a revolutionary invention, a car that could travel 100 miles on a gallon of gasoline. His vapor fuel system bypassed the traditional carburetor and fuel pump, instead vaporizing gasoline to make it burn more efficiently. The result was a staggering 90% reduction in fuel consumption, offering a glimpse into a future of clean, efficient energy that could have ended oil shortages. Ogle demonstrated his invention with a 200-mile round trip, using just one gallon of fuel, shocking both the press and public. Amid the oil crisis of the late 1970s, his car promised not only savings, but freedom from dependence on oil, which was rapidly becoming more expensive. However, as the potential for Ogle's invention became clear, attention shifted from admiration to suspicion. Investors, offering millions of dollars, tried to buy the technology and bury it, but Ogle refused, wanting to keep the technology open for everyone. Shortly after, Ogle's life began to unravel. His garage was broken, and he reported being followed and threatened. In 1981, at just 24, Ogle was found dead. His death was ruled an overdose. His friends and family, however, suspected foul play. Today, his patents sit unused, and the invention remains forgotten. No major automaker has revisited its design, and its potential is locked away. Whether or not the car worked, Ogle's refusal to sell led to his downfall. The world rejected his invention because it could have worked, and that was too dangerous for the powers that be. Frequencies that could cure cancer. In the 1930s, Royal Raymond Reif, a pioneering scientist, developed a microscope that could observe live viruses in motion, a breakthrough far ahead of its time. His invention allowed him to see pathogens in their natural state, revealing something extraordinary. Each disease had its own unique frequency. Reif believed that by matching and amplifying these frequencies, he could destroy the pathogens without drugs or surgery. 
Building on this, Rife created a machine with dials and blinking lights that emitted these frequencies to cure diseases. Early tests were nothing short of miraculous. He treated terminal cancer patients, and in several cases, they went into remission. Rife, however, didn't seek profit. He simply wanted to share his discovery with the world. But the medical community, particularly the American Medical Association, AMA, opposed him. They launched a smear campaign, raided his lab, destroyed his machines, and discredited his research. Rife was labeled a fraud. His work buried. By 1971, he had died in obscurity, his inventions erased from history. The medical establishment could not allow such a disruptive technology to thrive. The Rife machine, a symbol of lost potential, remains a tragic example of suppressed innovation. Some believe Rife's discoveries could still hold the key to curing cancer, but his work was silenced, leaving the world to wonder what might have been. Stanley Meyer's Water Fuel Cell Stanley Meyer's story is one of the most compelling and mysterious in the world of suppressed innovation. In the 1990s, Meyer claimed to have invented a water fuel cell that could split water into hydrogen and oxygen using a resonant frequency process. This method was far more efficient than electrolysis, the commonly used technique for separating hydrogen from water. Meyer's cell could potentially provide a solution to the world's energy crisis by using water as a fuel source for cars and machines. Meyer demonstrated his invention publicly, with a dune buggy running on hydrogen generated by his water fuel cell. He even claimed that his process could eliminate the need for oil, natural gas or coal. The potential implications were profound. Imagine a world where energy was not bought or fought over where wars didn't start at oil wells, and where energy was abundant and free. But after publicly demonstrating his technology, Meyer was confronted by those who had vested interests in maintaining the status quo. He was offered millions of dollars from corporations, military contractors, and foreign governments, all eager to buy him out and suppress the technology. Meyer refused to sell, wanting to keep the technology public. Shortly afterward, he was poisoned. His death, although officially ruled as a cerebral aneurysm, is widely believed to have been a targeted attack. His research, his patents, and his work were buried. No one has ever successfully replicated his process, and the world continues to rely on fossil fuels, while Meyer's work remains a mystery. Townsend Brown and the Power to Defy Gravity in the early 20th century, Thomas Townsend Brown, a naval physicist, began experimenting with high voltage capacitors. What he discovered would change our understanding of physics forever. Brown noticed that when capacitors were angled in a specific way, they seemed to lift, defying gravity. This phenomenon was the basis of his electrogravitics theory, where he believed it was possible to manipulate gravity itself with electricity. His experiments suggested that high-voltage electric fields could actually bend gravity, allowing objects to float and even potentially enabling flight, without the need for traditional propulsion methods. By the 1950s, the US military took notice of Brown's work and funded several classified projects based on his theories. Brown demonstrated flying saucer-like craft that seemed to hover on beams of invisible force. But as his work gained traction, it was quickly shut down. Brown's patents were ignored, and his research was classified and buried under military secrecy. After his death, Brown's groundbreaking work was dismissed as fringe science, and his patents were left to gather dust. Some believe the military took his research underground, using it for secret projects, but no one knows for sure. If his theory were correct, it would have had far-reaching implications not only for transportation, but also for military applications, control of gravity, and even warfare. Tesla's Warden Cliff Tower Nikola Tesla, one of the brightest minds in history, spent much of his life pursuing the idea of wireless power. At the turn of the 20th century, he built the Warden Cliff Tower on Long Island, designed to transmit electrical power wirelessly across vast distances. Tesla envisioned a world where electricity could flow freely through the air, providing clean, free energy for all. He believed that the Earth itself was a conductor, capable of transmitting energy without the need for wires or fossil fuels. 
Tesla's vision was groundbreaking and promised to revolutionize how the world thought about energy. However, when Tesla approached his backer, JP Morgan, and explained that his technology could provide free, limitless energy, Morgan had a simple question. If anyone can get the power, where do we put the meter? That was the end of Tesla's dream. Morgan withdrew his funding, and the tower was never completed. In 1917, the tower was dismantled and sold for scrap. Tesla spent the remaining years of his life in poverty and obscurity, his ideas largely ignored. Today, Tesla's legacy lives on through his innovations in electrical engineering, but the dream of wireless power remains unfulfilled. Conclusion These stories are more than just tales of failed inventions. They represent missed opportunities, suppressed technologies, and the silent war between innovation and the forces that seek to control it. From the water-powered engine to wireless energy, these lost ideas show us what could have been. A world where energy was clean, free, and abundant. Where cancer could have been cured without surgery, and where transportation didn't rely on oil. The remaining question is not whether these ideas could have worked, but why they didn't. What would our world look like today if these inventions had succeeded? The answers are lost in the silence of suppression, but the ideas persist waiting for the right moment to resurface.